Hello, welcome to this tutorial for Polypin. In this tutorial, we're going to take a very quick look at the global controls. These give us global access to some of the parameters across all sequences, rather than having to go into each one independently and changing specific settings. So the first thing on the global controls is the control surface. Unless you're using the MIDI version, you'll want to make sure you're using the correct version of Polypin, such as Push or Launchpad, Launchpad Pro and just select your controller from the list. If you don't see it in here, click the button to update the menu and then select your control surface. If you're using push, it should take over um, the push button matrix straight away. If you're using launchpad, you'll need to select user two mode on the launchpad. Okay, so MIDI controls then, so you can choose control and what this will do is it will let you use um, MIDI coming from um, just the MIDI keyboard to control polypin. So what, what you can really do with this is if say sequencer 1 is set to note C1, triggering note C1 on a keyboard will trigger the sequence and if you have any of the velocity sensitive options selected, the velocity from uh, that key will also work with those settings as well. So if you don't have push or launch page, you can use this with a regular MIDI keyboard as well. Through simply sends any MIDI that's coming into the into the track through the device to the instrument, as well as doing all of um, its uh, sequencing with the control surface or, or MIDI controller. One other thing you can do with the global controls for triggering is to change the snap or free mode which controls the snap or free on each sequencer to a set quantize so the initial mode is with snap on which means triggering a sequence on push or launch pad quantizes the pad press to the same rate as the uh, the sequencer. Uh, this could be different from sequencer to sequencer. You could have one on 16th, one on 8th and so on. Um, but you might find that you have your sequencer set to a fast rate, but then quantizing the triggering to 32 notes, for example, uh, might not be that useful. So if say you want to quantize all of your initial triggering to um, half a bar for example we could do that just by going into here and then by pressing it will wait for the next half a bar this can be really useful if for example you have loop turned off and when you play a sequence it will stop like so so this could be an easy way of keeping it in sync so you just need to tap it just before um, it gets to the end of its measure, whatever that is, and then it will it will keep running. You don't need to worry too much about your timing, or you could leave snap on, and then you do need to be quite precise. It's it's up to you. And then the modes are, if you have got lock turned off, they choose whether you're um, selecting whole notes or dotted notes from the menu when you trigger the bottom pads on push 